guys, it's Tiff. So, I want to put a, together a card today that I am going to be sending out in the mail. So, um, I'm going to first show you the supplies that we're going to use, and then we're going to put it together. So, I have some archivers, um, pre-scored A2 size card in a red color here. And I've already stamped the back with my name stamp. We are going to use Crepe Paper 14 line. Do uh, quick flip through so you get an idea for the color palette. Sorry for the sound effects with Parker running through the room. These in particular, the two pieces that we're going to use. This one is two and three quarters by just under five and a quarter. So maybe like five and an eighteenth. Um, and this one is four by five. So those are the two main pieces we're going to use. We're going to use this sentiment set by um, Paper Smooches. We're going to use this You Are Appreciated and One of a Kind. We're going to use this Greeting Farm stamp, which is Anya Styles. We're just using the image. So these two things can Let's get it out of the way. This is the image that I've already colored up. If you want to know the Copics, um, I will put them below. We're also going to use these um, basic gray letters. Oh, and by the way, this um, card is loosely inspired by um, Christina Warner's um, Make It Monday card this week. She did, um, she used a couple of the same products in her card. So it um, inspired me to do this card. We're also going to use Studio Calico's um, Calico Cream Mr. Healy. And I'm going to start shaking that now. Of course, some adhesive. We're going to use this Distress Marker in Broken China. You could also use um, an ink pad, but you'll see why I think it's easier to use the markers for this particular project. A pencil. A uh, little paper here. Approximately an inch by two and a half. Some twine or this is floss. This is Making Memories brand, but you can use any brand. Of course, scissors are my old standby and some red stickles. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do, we're going to do some misting on this card, which is kind of fun. This is one of the things that was inspired by Christina's video. So I want to line this up just to the side a bit because we're going to have a um, sentiment here. And this is where we're going to use the basic gray letters and our pencil. And I'm just going to mark a line here lightly with the pencil. Then I'm going to take my basic gray letters, which I've already put on to, whoop, which I've already lost one. It's okay. I can easily get another one. I had already put them onto this wax paper, but I'm not in the best of spots for that. So um, I didn't do it to line them up like I would on a scrapbook layout. I more did it um, so they'd be easy, ready to go. So I'm just going to line these up, hopefully quickly. And I just spelled out the word. Surprise. Sorry, guys. I was like, did I spell that right? No. <laughs> they hate that feeling. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be. No, I didn't spell it right. <laughs> That's where. Hello. I'm going to get it together here in a minute, guys. Sorry. And spell the word surprise and add an exclamation mark at the end. Um, she mentioned in her video also, um, it's a good idea to touch the backs like this so that they're easier to take up off once you missed. Because um, basic gray stickers do um, tend to... Uh, stick pretty well. And I am spreading mine out a little bit more than she did. 
because um I can't think of what I'm trying to say. Sorry guys. Because my image is larger than the image that she used. I will try, if I can remember, to link her original video below this. And this one's hard to get on because it's so small. I should have um, got my little pointy thing out. Okay, so once you get the letters down, you want to go ahead and erase your pencil mark. And then shake up your Mr. Huey. And I don't really have... Um, my craft mat out here, which was probably not a good idea. No. Yeah. So, this is Calico Cream. And I think it's going to take a good amount on this red card stuff. So this is going to be a little more subtle than hers was, but that's okay. So I'm going to let this dry for a minute, move this out of the way, and we're going to prep this guy here. With this guy, I'm going to take my, I forgot one other distress marker, um, I'm going to take my antique linen distress marker. And I'm just going to go over the edges so it doesn't have any crazy white stuff. Um, you could use your pads, but I have my markers out. So that's what I'm going to use. While we're at it, let's go ahead and do our inside piece as well. Just so everything's good and ready to go. Pretty simple. I hope I'm doing this. Right? Okay. So there's that. And then I'm going to take my image and adhere her. I was going to do her on foam, but this is going in the mail. So I decided just to lay her flat. Um. In here. I'm just going to center her up. Just like that. Put that to the side. Now let's prepare the inside. I'm going to take my floss or twine, whichever you choose to use, and I'm going to wrap it. I'm using the floss so that I don't have to use foam adhesive on the inside of the card. Now she wrapped hers, her image was much shorter than mine, um, so she used some natural twine, and I'm just tying this into a bow while we're chatting, um, but she used it on the outside and did it like in this like um, pattern, and it was really nice. I really liked the effect of it, and you didn't need pattern paper, I think was kind of part of the thought behind that, and it was very nice. Um, and I hope to try that sometime, but it just didn't work with the image that I wanted to use. Like I said, my image was just too tall um, for what she did. So I'm going to cut that off and kind of fuss with it for a second. Then I'm going to proceed to stamping my image here, and um, this is where the distress marker is going to come in because I just want to use the UR and then the one of a kind um, is going to be under the UR. Okay, so this is why I think it's easier to use the markers. You could mask the 
I'm going to do a couple layers of it so that it stamps pretty well. Um, if you just do one layer, it's going to um, not come up very clear. So, that is that. So I'm just going to kind of off stamp the UR like that. And it's, it's not perfect, um, but I'm okay with that. The crepe paper is kind of a distressed paper anyways. So now I'm going to take my mo Memento in Tuxedo Black and stamp out the one of a kind. Let's see here. Love it. And what's that? I'm gonna cover this back up. Like so. And then I'm just gonna trim this down to size. And I'd rather do it this way than say, oh, use it make it a certain size because you might stamp the UR at a different angle today than you would tomorrow. So I think it's easier to make it a little larger and then you can always cut it down. Like so. And then I'm going to take this distress marker again in the broken china and just go around the edges of this. And this is a very subtle effect. It definitely defines it, but you're not gonna it's not gonna be a prominent thing on the card layout. Okay. So I'm gonna let that dry in. Of course when you're using your distress markers you're gonna get funky fingers easily washed. That's how I see it anyways. So I'm going to add some adhesive to the back and because I'm using the floss I don't really have to use the dimensional tape that you would have to use if you were using um, using Baker's twine which is typically I mean you can get some thin formulas but it's typically thicker than the floss. Sorry that one piece was driving me crazy I just had to cut it off. So, there is going to be the inside. You see this is drying. And I don't know if you can tell, but... The stickers, when they start to dry, where you can pull them up... Um, start to kind of peel up on the edges makes it simple to pull them off. Just a fun little way to use like some of the supplies that you mostly use for scrapbooking to use them in cards as well. And can you guys see that? Yay! It's a surprise. So this is very subtle in comparison to hers. She used the calico white which would be a lot more aggressive here. But, I didn't want to use that in this card because we're using the crepe paper paper. So, now we're going to adhere the inside. Just try to line it up as best I can. Now I'm going to use a black marker to write on the inside of here, so you don't have to worry about her not being able to read it. I think she'll be able to read it. And then, add adhesive to this part, and I am pretty liberal with my adhesive when it's going on a card. I used to use um, my ATG gun for cards, but... Um, I have a love-hate relationship with that thing. I think I've said that before in a video. And that's that. And the last thing I want to do is in her outfit, if you can see, she has some little hearts. And I just want to bling those out. So 
I'm going to get my stickle started over to the side so I have more control over the flow of them. It's kind of like, um, they recommend that with your Mr. Hueys as well. I didn't do that with this card, but normally I do. So, with the stickles, sorry, can you see my head? No, good. Um, you want to see it more here. So, I like that. And I think just to dress up this surprise a little bit, I'll add a couple of dots on either side. So that is it. And we're going to have to let my stickles dry, of course. But you see it says surprise in this really cute Anya Styles. She's from the December release. And here's the inside. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more card process videos or modified process videos, if you will let me know, I will be glad to share them with you. Take care. Bye.